Good morning, good morning. Um, I'm going slightly off format again, but I was struck by a, a little lick that um, Ed Hopwood posted. Ed, if you don't know, is a fantastic harmonica teacher based in London, I think, um, but he does a lot of work for Harmonica UK and etc. Anyway, he was looking at this um, Peg Leg Sam tune, One Mint Julep, and I didn't even know that Peg Leg Sam had recorded uh, One Mint Julep, and it's a live recording anyway, I think, from 1972, and I didn't even know Peg Leg Sam was a around as long as that, but uh, there you go. Anyway, I'll link the recording below, and I'll also link um, Ed's lesson, because you should go and have a look at that as well. As well. I'm going to approach it slightly differently, but just so that I'm not wholesale copying, <laughs> copying Ed's video. He does a very good job. I think that's all I've got to say, except for thank you for the Patreons, the, slowly growing the numbers. Honestly, I really appreciate it. There will be a cording video up there this week, and also I'm hatching some really nice ideas for extra Patreon content. But they're on the they're on the slow cooker at the minute. So thank you very much for that. Um, please subscribe to the Patreon if uh, you're interested in this stuff. Honestly, it helps me out so much. Let's get to this cool lick. Here is the skeleton of the lick. Really lovely, really bluesy call and response thing. Da 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 da. Ba, ba, ba. Um, that's the the question and the answer. All right. Uh, blues does this. It's uh, it's really common. So that's the skeleton of the lick. But by itself, it doesn't really doesn't really pop for me. So I'm gonna play it unaccompanied. No backing track today. And I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of cording, just because I really like to play this way. Um, it's a great way to play unaccompanied and I'm not going to go into detail on what I'm doing with the, the cording and I'm going to be using tongue block techniques as well just to make the sound a bit fatter and nicer and I'm not even going to improvise too heavily I'm just going to play around with it for a short while so here we go I'm having far too much fun doing that. Um, I really enjoy playing playing that way. It's possibly a bit busy. Maybe want to maybe try and be a bit more subtle about it. Whatever. You get the idea. Um, learning to play in that chording and um, mix with melody ways is uh, is really, really powerful. I love playing harmonica like that. It's great for when you can't, um, you haven't got a band or you're, you're just playing something while you're standing around waiting for something or whatever. Really, really good stuff. Good for your rhythm. 
Um, good for your timing. Good for everything. Really, really cool lick. Thank you, Ed. Harmonica Miscellanea coming up on Friday. All right. I'll see you all later. Bye.